Good evening, and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. When we left off last time, we'd made it through a harrowing boat ride, and we are now in Prosper Bluff. So let's see what this area is all about. Enterprising man, or plain old fool, to venture out that far. Well, these birds are helpfully messing around with these other guys, so I suppose that's kind of good. But I sort of hate the birds. They're quite obnoxious. Hmm. Looks like we're going this the way. Beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. Go around, go around. Can't. Okay. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. All right. I saw you, birds. Ooh. And let that poison dissipate. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? Let's go ahead and set all those off as we see them, so I don't roll into them on the accident. No one likes you, birds. Oop. Get away from that. Yeah, the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. A beautiful song. How's it go again? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah, these ones are shooting crap at me. I do need to keep an eye on that. No, not, we don't care about the rocks. We want to get that poison flower. There we go. I like this song. That's why I'm staying kind of quiet. I'll let you listen to it. It's pretty. Right into a poison flower. Freaking birds.
this way first, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, more of you guys. Get out of here. Moving along. Yeah, I see you. Get back here. Jerks. Just trying to use a sky bridge. Birds running into me. Yeah, take that. out of here. off the edge. Next we find this nice Suffice hidebound journal. Say, kid ain't coming home empty handed. A worn book handwritten in traditional Aurora script. Amid the scrawled notes, the book contains various indecipherable scientific diagrams, drawings, and mathematical formulae. I missed that spot. Well, don't worry about it. Yeah, besides, and it's like the song goes. There's our singer. Nice song. They'll be here before too long. She agreed to return to the bastion. Seems like the best we plan. We near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Where else would she go? Look, everybody's so, so happy. I'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. First, we got all kinds of people to talk to. Let's ask Zolf about this journal. What do you make of these drawings and diagrams? Isn't this written in your native the language? A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Oh. Can you read any of this? Do these charts and formulas mean anything to you? If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. And we got all kinds of things to ask Zia about. So, ancient spices. Eating this stuff was like a rite of passage in the city. Did the Ura like it? Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. What about this spyglass? Much, not much to see out there beyond the bastion, but maybe you'll find something. Sure, or an the offer to it. gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. The marshal's badge. Did the marshals ever give you any trouble? You seem worried whenever you seem to see this Girl badge. tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? And this journal. Traditional Aurora script was outlawed in the city. Is this your handwriting? So many secrets in there, and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Oh. Right. I think 
can I can hear a bird. Kid ain't finished here yet. Yeah, I know. It's possible to little get a little bird friend who hangs out. And I don't remember exactly where that is. No, it's just background noise. I don't see one anywhere. Okay, later. Let's put this core in. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. The memorial. And let's take the a look. Memorial. Be a kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. So, you complete all these various tasks and you get bonuses. So here we have constructed a memorial. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches. Nothing more. All right, so if we earn enough first prizes, then we'll get this one. Gather the mementos. Doing pretty good. 10 out of 15. Got a lot of secret skills to learn still. Mm, I guess maybe I should be going to all the edges. I forgot about this uh, here, this memorial. It does give you a lot of fragments. Vanquish different beasts. And then these are all weapons related. Okay. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. Well, let's go over here. Hmm. Scrap musket skill. I don't think I care about that. But let's get this. Finders keepers. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the war machete now too. To the forge. So, plus fifty percent damage, or improved firing rate. Damage. That ought to make those fangs sink in nice and deep. And for the machete, mm, I will take the critical hit. Chain. Wait. Why can't I select that? Oh, because I already have it. Duh. Pay attention. Okay. 100% critical hit damage. Extra blade. I'd never throw it, so. Wall machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. Alright, that should make a difference. We track the final core beyond the city to the wild. The wild outskirts. An expeditionary team aimed to use it to tame these lands, but went missing. The core, that is. Well, let's go find this core. The wild unknown. Place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Well, let's run in and check it out. Some dueling pistols. No, it's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight. Having two. Savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. Can't get there yet. Good thing pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. There we go. Those aren't too much of a problem. Pecker's At least not initially. Like that bit of a of their own. These fellas again. Scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. Shouldn't have let the guard down. 
All right, so that seems suspiciously easy. Got the core already. The core was one thing, but getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. And here we have one of my favorite background tracks. Nope, oh, can't sneak through there. Wallflowers survive the calamity. Same goes for the kid. They're easily taken out with the shield. Best take it real slow when pin cushions are afoot. I did just roll right onto that grenade again. Um, yeah. We are gonna put the repeater back on. Kids Partial to, to that. Old standbys. Exactly. at the angle it won't hit us we can mess it up something greasy ah, upgrade for the dueling pistols oh a tin of rattletail oil a mechanical lubricant extracted from a species of subterranean pest Those things go down quick. These things. Jawson's boys left all kinds of stuff out here. Kids roused up half the wild by now. Go away, birds. No one likes you. These ones aren't so bad. It's the ones that target you that are a little more of a problem. These the ones. Not by me. By a lunkhead. And lunkheads ain't fond of two-legged animals. No, oh, lunkheads are kind of a pain. Yep. Hit him anywhere but the hind quarters and he only make him mad. Come here. These ones are always kind of tricky for me. Some of this I'll get better at as I go, refamiliarize myself with the controls, but those guys are always a pain. signs of the old Jawson camp. Wild green vine apples about the only good thing out here. An unusual rock. Sees a smooth black stone coughed up by the calamity. Be seeing plenty more. There we go. Nothing else over here. Wiles already reclaimed this place. Something foul was... For a weapon we don't know yet. A rag smothered in cauldron's ash. Highly volatile. This rank smelling fuel lasts long and burns clean. 
Go ahead. He's anxious to get back. After all, there we go. he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Of course not. Well, no. It ain't. Not by a long shot. Zia shares Zulf's aura ethnicity, but unlike him, she was born and raised in Ceylandia. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zulf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zulf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. Oh, well. And with that, Zulf leaves us here, alone. What did he mean by that, guys? Fractured monument. Evidence of Zulf's rage against the Bastion. Something brought out a flash of violence in the man. He attacked Rux and severely damaged the monument, then fled in anger. And here we have show surpassing his skill with the Fang Repeater. So we're going to turn that in. But first, let's talk to our friends. Ask about the altercation with Zulf. Are you hurt? What happened back here? Zulf cursed the city. Cursed the Bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. Zia, you have a contribution to this conversation? Are you all right? When Zulf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. So nobody knows what the problem is, but... Zulf banged up the monument pretty bad. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. Oh? Ain't always much to say. You're not going to explain these shards? He ain't all that shy. Well, let's head over here to the memorial. We can go ahead and, if I can, there we go, turn this in. The trappers, daring bunch of fools. They'll be missed. Unafraid of the wild, they risked their lives to bring great wealth to the city. So I probably should be too careful these days. <laughs> switch up weapons um, to get all of those. I will eventually, but I don't want to right now. What have we got over here? Yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, ammo capacity, I think. Takes a lot of moving pieces to make a dependable sidearm. And upgrade the hammer. Oh, extra damage for sure. Kids' lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Hey, squirt. All you do is spin. That's fine. The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Oh, that's just all those. Okay. So, shards. They rest somewhere in this fetid, overgrown marsh known for driving men mad. The Jossing Bog. Well, that sounds magnificent. Let's go there. But, we're going to do that next time. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. Come back next time, and we'll go ahead and check out Jossing Bog. See if we go mad. <laughs>